Okay, so now we're going to learn how to put on a long leg cast. Um, here's our patient. You always need one helper to hold the tight and to help you with the cast. First of all, we already have cut the um, soft uh, stocking, so that's what we're going to put on first. Make sure you cover the, the fingers and just unroll it all the way up. Be sure to get very, very proximal because as you put the cast on, this will come down. So make sure it goes all the way up. No wrinkles, so we won't hurt the soft parts. There we go. And now we're going to take our soft padding and do the same thing. Just wrap it around, making sure that all the bone eminences, ankle, the malleolus, leg, the tibia, here around the knee, the patella, the condylar, eminences, they're all covered and we won't do any harm to the soft parts. Okay, there we go. There we go. We usually do a 30 degree flexion for a long leg cast. Um, there are two most common ways to do it. First do a short leg and then unite it with the rest of the tie or just do it in one uh, time. Go all the way up and come down. We're going to first do a short boot with a 15 centimeter cast and then we're going to use it a 20 centimeter cast to go all the way up. So leave 10 centimeters so you can take the end of it, the tip of it, get it wet, make sure no bubbles are coming out, let it drain by itself, don't squeeze it. And now we're going to unwrap it. Make sure you are very close to the leg. Make sure you're not taking it off like this. You can use your chest to put your, the foot and get the right position. So we're going up, going up, just, just below the knee. And now going down again, going down. Okay, this is the time where you can take out the air bubbles and where you can do the molding. Be sure to mark the malleolus and you must never forget before this gets dry to make a couple of cuts so the leg won't be in danger of having neurovascular problems because of a compression up here. So if you do it like this, first boot first, short boot first, always do uh, the cuts that we're going to do right now. Take the scissors, just cut anterior, medial, lateral, and then posterior. Okay, remember 30 degrees, 90 degrees, watch out for your equinus foot. That's a natural tendency when you put this um, cast. So now 10 centimeters left for the tip, get it wet, get all the bubbles out. Let it drain by itself, don't squeeze it. And we're going to first start working around the knee. The knee is the weakest part of this cast. So we need it to be very reinforced. We make a couple of cross section going up and down like an eight form. So we give a, a strong structure to this cast. All the way up, please, if you can help me over there. Thank you. You must watch here not to lose the 30, 40 degree flexion. Turn around the stocking. Watch your rotation. You must be on the same axis. 
It can get rotated when you're doing this, so be careful of that. And before the cast dries, we're going to put our last cast, 20 centimeter cast, same as the others, 10 centimeters left. Let it squeeze, let it drain, no squeezing. And here we go from down. Okay. Remember to use your chest all the way down, all the way down, all the way up now. Cover your stocking there. Now back. There you go. Before the cast gets uh, hard or it gets dry, it's very important that you can mold the supracondylar area. The cast will, will be held in place by the supracondylar eminences of femur, both the lateral and the middle condyle. So like he's doing, you have to mold it very nicely. Same as we did here, ankle level, and you can also go around the patella and the patellar tendon. And that's it for our long leg cast.